inviting and warm with art deco elements, original vintage posters and wooden floorboards that date back to when it was a metal works factory, Church Street Enoteca offers a relaxed atmosphere for dining. The food at Church Street Enoteca is best described as modern Italian cuisine. And to tell us more about the menu is Ron O'Brien, who brings with him five years of experience from highly regarded restaurants around Melbourne. Now with modern influences changing the traditional style of Italian food, what do you think are the essential elements that keep it authentic and distinguishable from other genres? I think the Italian respect for produce, starting with the best you can afford, treat it well, treat it with respect, don't do too much with it, really let the produce speak for itself. I think it's pretty much the, the cornerstone of good Italian cooking. Great. Well, in front of me I can see an example of good Italian cooking. <laughs> can you please run through what you've prepared? Alrighty. We'll start with the fig capaccio. It's um, fresh figs in season, just sliced, mm -hmm. dressed with a little bit of olive oil and some Tasmanian lavender honey. Um, we have some gorgonzola picante, so it's quite a, a nice peppery blue cheese. Mm -hmm. um, fantastic blue flavour. Um, over here we have the Tortellini Three Cheeses. It has uh, Reggiano Parmesan, um, ricotta and pecorino. Um, and then it's a sage butter with pine nuts and raisins. A um, little bit of crisp sage on top and some uh, Meredith goat's cheese. A um, couple of the signature mains from the restaurant. We have wet roasted lamb, uh, Roman style, uh, with parmesan and breadcrumbs um, and some soft polenta. Mm -hmm. um, and our uh, bistecca over here, which is a 600 gram T-bone. Uh, char grilled over a very high heat, rested for a long time. Crusted with salt, uh, with spinach and lemon, a little bit of um, potato puree, which is become sort of a, a, bit, a bit famous for me, something I've done for a long time. Something you've done for a long time? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's something, I mean, I'm from Irish heritage, so mash is very important to me. Right. So I've worked hard on it. Sure. Um, and then desserts, we sort of veer a little bit from traditional Italian, um, we have a bit of, of a play with them. Um, Kennedy and Wilson chocolate mousse, um, we have some honeycomb, three little bits of chocolate, um, just different textures, um, different types, white, milk, dark varying um, amounts of cocoa butter, so they've got different flavours as well. Great. Um, and a little bit of pistachio ice cream. It's like artwork, on. a lot of detail in that one. Now we're in the private dining room with cellar master Ken John. Thanks for joining us in City Life, Ken. What an ideal place for wine tasting this is. Certainly is, and uh, we're fortunate that we have quite a lot of um, really fine um, Food and, food and wine tasting experiences that happen here. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, it suits about um, 12 people really well and, and that lends itself to um, tasting lots and lots of really good wine and food. And some really good times, I'm sure. Absolutely. Ken, can you please recommend some wines for the meals prepared for us today? Happily. And perhaps the first thing we should talk about is um, what we would offer at the restaurant here as an aperitif. And that's uh, Prosecco. It comes from the Veneto region in um, uh, northeastern Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the entrees is uh, fig and capaccio, mm -hmm. and uh, that was re um, reviewed recently uh, in the age by John Lethlin. And at that stage, um, we recommended the Hofstadter Gewurztraminer. So we'll stick with that as a uh, as a recommendation. Sure. Uh, we also have the um, tortellini, which um, is one of our um, signature dishes. And um, with that, um, I would use um, potentially Pinot Noir, but in an Italian context. Um, Nebbiolo, and we've got this um, Longe Nebbiolo from um, the Piemonte region, and uh, the, the nice tannin structure that that has, uh, particularly with the ethereal tar and roses quality that they um, they, they can exhibit sure. when at their best, is perfect with the um, with the tortellini. Mm -hmm. We then um, move across to main courses, and Ron's arranging um, our fabulous steak. Uh, big, big um, steak based on Bistecca Fiorentina in Italy, in uh, Tuscany. And in Tuscany they'd serve it with Sangiovese, so it seems to me to be sensible to still serve it with Sangiovese here. Yes. We've got this beautiful um, uh, Toscana Sangiovese IGT that'll just be perfect. And uh, so I don't have any problem about what we're going to drink with, with that. Mm -hmm. And also we have our um, uh, dessert wine to go with the chocolate. Chocolate is notoriously difficult to find things to go with, mm -hmm. but um, in this case we have this beautiful uh, Pesito de Pantelleria uh, from um, uh, the Pantelleria Island south of um, Sicily. And that is really unctuous and, um, um, and fresh as well. So a perfect sort of way to cut through the richness of the chocolate and provide a really nice contrast, but also an, um, a nice, uh, nice combination. Now, Ken, let's get on with the wine tasting, shall we? Salute. 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 